very good morning one and all myself d jyoti assistant professor department of csc data science mlr institute of technology today we are going to discuss the topic on loops functions and coercions in the subject data analytics using r these are the topics we are going to cover today the basic loops functions in the functions we are going to discuss about the advanced functions like apply loops global variables local variables and the coercion Uh, first we are going to discuss the if else if else statement here in this example we are assigning x value to 15 and we are checking x is less x is less than 10 and we are incrementing the x value or else we have to uh, we are printing it as statement first first as the x is assigned to 15 we will be getting uh, we will be getting the output as statement first false so here whenever uh, Whenever you find uh, these kind of uh, square brackets, you understand it, it is a output. It is displayed on the screen. Next loop is the while loop. Here we are assigning the x value to one, and x uh, we are checking the condition x is less than eight. X is less than eight, and we are incrementing the incrementing the x value, and we are printing the x. So look at the output. We 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 have got the values from two to eight displayed on the output screen. For the for loop, we are using a sequence here. We have just specified the x in. This is a sequence we are using. So we are familiar with this syntax in the vectors we have discussed. When uh, a, when you write a colon, it will be taken as a sequence. The starting a uh, point is the one and the ending point is a 5 it will take the values from 1 to 5 and 1 to 5 values are displayed at the output repeat statement here uh, we are assigning the k value to 0 and we are uh, incrementing the k value and checking the condition k is greater than 5 so when uh, repeat uh, you have we have to use in combination with the break so the once the loop completes it need to break from the repeat so we are using the break break here and we are using the concatenation we are not writing anything here just we are using the concatenation and slash n for to print the values in the next line so it will be printed from 1 to 5 global variables and the local variables so what are these global and local variables sir so once we declare a variable outside of the loop then it is called as a global variable here we have assigned 10 value to a global variable and we are trying to access this global variable within a function a global variable scope will be throughout the program so whenever you try to uh, print this within the function also it will print the value as 10 or if you try to print the same if you repeat this statement here at this line also again it is going to print the value as 10 within the loop also the value will be same outside the loop also value will be same throughout the program also value will be same for the global variables local variables local variable is something you declare inside a loop so this loop scope will be from here to here only so when you when you declare a variable equal to 20 once you come out of this one um, and you try to print the value then the scope it won't be having any scope outside the loop so the value will uh, value won't be printed here so for a global variable scope a scope will be throughout the program for a local variable it need to be declared inside a function and its scope will be within the function only outside the function uh, it's it, it's it won't have any scope adding numbers uh, using the function it is a small example here uh, we are having a variable and uh, we are assigning a function function x and y to a some two numbers variable and we are passing this uh, we are passing these two elements 1 2 into x and y this x and y will be summed here and it will be this function will be returning to the same point where it has left previously 
and this function is within the printf function it will be directly printing the value here so uh, you have to observe within within the printf only we are writing a function by in this function we are sending the two numbers here 1 and 2 1 and 2 will be received here in the x and y and this x and y will be summed here and this function it will be returning to the same place we, where it has left and it will come here and it will be printing the value as 3. If we have the apply functions in the R programming, the syntax of the apply function is you, you have to use the built in functions or user defined function as a parameter. So, look at the example we are having a data frame here. I am having the x1 value, it is moving from 1 to 5, x2 value 2 to 6 and the x3 value I have uh, 3 and it will be repeated for uh, repeated for 5 times and here well, look at here, so this, uh, this is the overall data frame I have created, the 1 to 5 and 2 to 6 and 3. Look at the syntax of the apply function here, in the apply function I am sending entire data frame and after that I am writing 1. So, these 1 indicates these uh, some function it is applied to only rows of a data frame. So, what is the built in function you are applying here? Sum is the built in function you are applying here. So, what it will do is row wise it will add 1, 2 and 3 and I will be getting 6 and it will be adding 2, 3 and 3, I will be getting 8. Like this, I have got all the values. All the rows of your data frame will be added. And here you can have, here you can have, here you can have any user defined function or you can have a built in function that you customize a function, uh, a customized function also you can be uh, sent as a parameter in the apply functions. Vectorization. So, what is vectorization is, so by using a colon you declare the range of variables and the variables will be automatically printed by the system. So, these are uh, called as vectori vectorized variables and here you are adding a scalar variable. So, you are assigning uh, a 1 colon 10 means starting from 1 ending at 10 all these values you have assigned to x. And for that values you are adding 10. So, 1 plus 10, 2 plus 10 like that you will be getting the values here. So, this is called as vectorization. Next, uh, we have the coercion. So, what is coercion is? So, converting one type of data type into other type of data type is called as coercion. Sometimes it is an advantage and sometimes it is a drawback. Only few programming languages will support the coercion because of the security reasons some of the programming languages won't support. So, what is the problem if a, if a programming language support is? So, if you can convert a float into integer. So, uh, that will become a security issue in some of the programming languages. That is the reason uh, some of the programming languages won't support. So, here as dot functions are supported in the R programming language. Look at we have a as dot numeric function. We are taking, so whatever the value you take uh, within the double quotation that will be considered as a string. You are assigning a string to the x value. And by using as dot numeric, you are converting that string into a numeric value. So, that is uh, as dot numeric, what it will do is whatever the value assigned to it, that will, that value will be converted into a numeric value by as dot numeric function. Next one is as dot character. Here you are assigning a numeric value 42 to y value and that y value will be converted into a string. The as dot character function will convert whatever the value assigned to it into a string value. 
as dot integer you are assigning a float value to z and as dot integer will convert that float value into into a integer value next one as dot logical you are assigning a zero as dot logical will convert that into true or false in this case as we are have assigned zero zero will be converted into the false as dot factor so we are assigning we are having a vector here that vector by using as dot factor we are converting that vector into a factor what is the difference between a vector and a factor is once you display the vector as it is without converting into a factor it will be uh, it it will display the same value same data whatever you have specified in a vector but when you use a factor what it will do is it will convert that into levels here look at here so this vector is as the vector is converted into a factor the data is converted into levels apple banana and orange so majorly whenever we are having the categorical data we prefer uh, we declare the categorical data by using a factor so uh, age or gender is uh, these two are the best examples so when you apply this for a uh, gender male female will be the levels of le it will be displaying it as a levels as dot date here we are assigning a string to c and that value we are converting into a date by using the as dot date function next one is as dot matrix so we have a data frame created here by using the uh, two uh, variables a and b that data frame you we are uh, converting into a matrix here by using as dot matrix as we are having only a and b as uh, uh, columns so only two columns will be taken uh, two columns will be taken by the matrix to generate the data two columns are default a and b so depending on the number of data values we have that will be uh, divided into accordingly that will be uh, divided accordingly into the number of rows next one is as the data frame by using the matrix keyword we have created a matrix uh, with the values 1 to 6 numbers uh, and two rows so two rows we have specified mean it will be three columns so as the data frame will convert a matrix into a data frame look at here so you are having the two rows and the three columns so one more function we have is as dot list so we have the value we have a vector with 1 2 and 3 values and that vector will be converted into a list uh, with a list indexing at a index value 1 1 is assigned at a index value 2 2 is assigned at the index value 3 3 is assigned so as dot vector so we have assigned some values in the h like uh, C of one two three four five six, and that will be that values will be converted into a vector by using as dot vector, as dot array. So we have some values in the i. That values will be converted into a array by using the as dot array. Vector will be converted into the array here. Thank you, one and all.